but the Sheikh's input. When I moved to Jordan, he basically bought me a plane ticket and said, I want you to go to Indonesia and find me the best dude in the world and don't come back without it. <laughs> so when I came back, you know, I, I showed him the dudes that I got and said, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. So, and he even named them for me. And what happened is, if you recall the Sultan story, that's very interesting because Sheikh Nun had connections with the treasury by the royalty in Jordan well before the passing of the, of the Sultan. So they, they had this Oud known as Oud Royal now, uh, which the Sheikh himself used to call Oud Sultani because it, became, it came from, uh, from Sultan Qaboos. Uh, and he gave me that as well. He actually exchanged me that Oud from the treasury of the Sultan for the Oud that I got in Indonesia. That's how much he loved it. And he named both of them for me. He said, this one, let's call this one Oud Royale, and let's call this one Borneo 3000. And I think, and when he gave that to me, the Sultani oil, he was holding it like this. He said, he shook it a few times and said, this will be the opening for you in your business. And then he just gave it to me. And that's exactly what happened. One of those bottles, the last one, that I had at that time, sold for, I believe, $10,000 for a three-gram bottle of food, if you can imagine that. That was when the Sultan was alive, and there was no human on earth who could access his private collection of oods and his royal treasury of aromatics. After the passing of the Sultan, now this, this should give you just an idea of how precious this opportunity is here. Uh, with all of these oils that came out, I mean, that doesn't happen. Can you imagine, like, King Charles's royal collection or from the late Queen just reaching public hands and, you know, making it onto the shelves of just the common people that are not royalty? It's something that can, it's, it's physically impossible. I mean, you can never get a hold of such a thing. So what we have here I don't think people appreciate what this is. I mean, it's like you're sitting next to like an alien and then you think that it's a human. And it's like a, not that you're an alien. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I mean, just for, for a literary like simile, you know, to, to, to illustrate, to drive the point home, is that that's the kind of thing that we're dealing with here. Like you have something that is like a chasm in time and space and access to royal aromatics that Otherwise, you would never see in your lifetime, and they're just being given away. 